So Tim, what developer problem are you solving? The developer problem we solve basically is linking NetSuite and Stripe seamlessly together. So we hit pretty much every single one of your APIs that exist. We've got full V2 compliance. We take your webhooks. The, the whole suite that you guys offer from uh, payments to billing to reconciliation, we hit every single point of that um, across the board. And this is for NetSuite customers? This is for NetSuite customers. So um, we directly put the, our code base into that NetSuite customer instance and we call Stripe, Stripe directly. There is no middleware layer. It is all direct API calls sitting in there for full feedback within um, uh, NetSuite. So in theory, you don't have to log into the Stripe dashboard. Now, controversial from a Stripe point of view, but also very helpful from um, a, a user point of view where they can sit in the one platform they know they're already fully trained in it and they don't have to learn another uh, another place to work. Yes. So what sort of customers use this? Uh, customers that use this is anyone from a, a, a real little company that um, wants to put payment links on their invoice. So it allows them to um, get their customers to pay quicker um, in any payment format that Stripe obviously support in that region. Um, to big multinationals that are using full Stripe billing for every single part of their, their side of things, and we sync those invoices straight into NetSuite, so they can still run their um, their Dunnings process if they want to from the, within their um, ERP, and still have the benefits of what Stripe billing can do and the payments platform all, all simultaneously in one place. So as a developer, what do I need to know to get started to use this? Uh, so to, um, to use this within NetSuite, um, as a developer, you have to know SuiteScript. That's what, um, what NetSuite does. Everything has the word suite somewhere in it. Um, and um, uh, from um, that point of view, if you understand what SuiteScript's doing, which is a JavaScript based, we can then use any single of the REST API calls that, that Stripe produce. And um, uh, we can, you basically can work from there. Yeah. And can, can you share anything that's coming up on your product roadmap or what you're developing? Product roadmap, we're very, very shortly going to be having full subscription capabilities um, within NetSuite. So rather than having to go into the, um, the Stripe dashboard to generate the subscription, we'll be able to do, fully manage that within, um, within Stripe, uh, sorry, within NetSuite. Um, and the one thing that is literally just finished last week that is about to be launched out um, from a developer point of view, we've got the ability to enhance any single webhook with any um, action. So we've added a before webhook process trigger and an after webhook process trigger to allow things like when we receive a setup intent, um, we want to then go and take a payment automatically after that. And the source system can't send more than one request. They can either send a checkout or they can send a, a setup intent. We can then facilitate that by adding additional actions onto that webhook automatically through configuration without actually needing to dive into code. Well, that's amazing, Tim. Thanks very much for sharing this. You've got also some amazing swag here with your koalas. But if you're interested in trying this later, go to sweetfunction.com. But Tim, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you very much indeed.